wax dipping of honeybee boxes. This is um, an old tradition. Um, in here it is from the days when you couldn't buy these things of any sort. I believe personally the original ones made from wood was in fact not made but banana boxes or apple boxes which today have exactly the same measurement. All you need to make some support for the frames. But them days have gone too. Now everything is made and the tradition or improvised and do it yourself continue. I have here a number of plywood sheets which would be floors, ready made floors, uh, all made from what I picked up from pallets and surplus packaging from behind the shops. Cost nothing. And that is the thing, do it yourself. Uh, there is some scrap steel there holding up a um, old sink, commercial sink. I have welded the clock up uh, solid and filled the wax in and have made a, uh, see it there, a strong element made to suit uh, with a couple of wave, uh, coils, or not coils, uh, running forwards and backwards inside and uh, only getting warm in the bottom, not up, but up the side. Okay, and you need a good um, fuse in the meter board when you're running it. Uh, there needs to be some water in it to begin with, um, uh, covering this element, otherwise the element will burn out. Uh, it will get far too hot before the wax melts. So it will not mix. The weight uh, difference between wax and water is so great that you cannot mix it. So therefore, uh, whatever of this wood you put in will float on top and when the boiling temperature is reached um, it's got to stay in long enough for the wood to warm up and the wax to sink in. After that it will lift up and you can have a dripping off period. I would have a stainless steel tray to put it on and uh, after that the rash can be scraped off and put back in so there is no waste. Now that is a sort of an introduction. I will now see how it goes. There is some time to go yet. It has not reached uh, uh, boiling temperature or, or, or wax. Wax melting temperature is a lot lower than water, uh, 67 degrees. The boiling temperature for, temperature for water is 100 degrees. Uh, anyway, uh, there is some thing coming up this side, a um, little bit, but pause. I have, I have here two uh, slabs of uh, paraffin wax. It is uh, made from uh, leftovers made, uh, refining petrol and in past years marketing by an uh, oil firm called Mobile, Mo Mobile, Mo Mobile, yes, here in New Zealand and sold very cheap. But um, uh, some self-interested persons worked out um, they could get a lot more money than that. So now it's about, um, I think, ten times the price it used to be. Uh, it's gone like that with many things. Now, um, we can use bee wax with probably even greater effect, but that's too expensive. That is still a lot more expensive than the paraffin wax. Um, I also bought on weekend markets um, old um, candles left over, big, small and different, different colors. They works well too. In fact, I could buy them a lot cheaper than the paraffin wax in blocks. I also have blocks of bee wax, but um, that's going to get sold. Now, <clears throat> uh, up on top, there's a can there, and it contains silicone. I'm going to spray this tray it stands on before I put um, 
thing to dripping off so the wax don't stick to it. Uh, now <coughs> the soft wood here made of pine tree um, it's really necessary to have the wax at boiling point so the wood can heat up too and soak in <coughs> and also drip off. That's important if you not get a layer of wax sitting outside cold wood. Uh, so therefore it will take a little time for each item and um, that's necessary. Also a lot of honors for uh, nailing floor. I do them separately, nail them one afterwards so it gets into the joints of that too. <coughs> now if I did not do that the lifetime of this might be only two years and something will start running away and boars getting into it and certainly already after the first winter it will be three times as heavy as it is now water filled with water and cold for the bees so is it, is it, it is important that the wax sink into the wood and prevent water getting in later on and not only that uh, no bore or, or no run will take place it's a preserving idea uh, in other countries uh, they have passed this stage long ago they're now doing the hives of the polystyrene uh, and um, you will not see wooden boxes anymore. It has come in here to New Zealand to a limited extent but uh, only for imported pur special purposes but it's certainly available and of course cost a lot more everybody in for profit. But this is something you cannot do yourself. This here anybody can do themselves with some improvisation. You could also paint them twice or three times in oil-based paint will have more or less the same effect. There is no drying period for wax dipping, only a cooling off period. And it can be used immediately after that. Of course, when the wax soak into the wood, uh, in the soft wood particular, uh, it will, it can accommodate a lot of wax and uh, it needs to be supplemented out now and then because uh, the level will be too low. And here you have a purchase from the weekend market of candles from a candle making uh, person. Uh, I don't know, just make an offer, five, five bucks and um, I got it. And it's a lot cheaper than buying one block uh, there's two blocks there, uh, probably heavier than that, I should think. Yeah, it, uh, for $25, not cheaper. But um, it is different colors. Just go closer and have a look. Um, somebody improvised with um, with their um, artistic skills there, and a lot of different colors and sizes and um, I bought them before and um, they don't know how to do with it so anyway I got it I know how to do with it and uh, there's many uses for, many uses for wax and preserving bee boxes is one of them uh, now we have reached a bit more temperature uh, while I'm been talking and you can see it Is start moving about a bit, uh, but not it, it needs to be boiling. Okay, we will see when that happens. Now it is boiling, and um, apparently, I forgot from past times <coughs> that we're losing too much temperature through the stainless steel sink, so we are insulated with the old bedspread and some foam rubber. I have um, now. Um, Wait, where the, the first one, the first box, the silicone, so it will not stick, they're, they're dripping off wax. My wife Nina is now preparing the next item. It is a, a cover and um, she's holding it down with a knife. Don't push it too far down. It is water underneath. Uh, anyway, it's quite dry and it should sink in quite fast.
It is now an hour later. I've done all the runners. Two long ones and one short for each. And here is the first floor. Um, upside down. Voiding away. It will be turned around in a minute. And um, this is what I got left. Um, there is some what I have done. Some uh, bottoms and one bee box. And uh, please note, no nuts. Uh, this come from trees that have been looked after and pruned. Uh, could only come from the scene and I think. I have now turned the floor over and uh, it's boiling away. The boards from the palace were not quite the right size so I had to add a little bit to one side. But um, it's not a problem. You need a, a skills how to take the pallet apart. You have to start from the middle, not from one end. You break the wood. Start from the middle and then go to one end. And you would risk it a lot. And even even the runners, everything. Um, so, I think another hour and we finished. Oh. Uh, it has gone down a bit and I'm concerned that a thick enough, thick enough layer of wax on top of the water. So I'm going to add a bit of more bee wax, candy wax in this case, and I will use uh, the, one of the candles here. It is a, um, I think, whatever it was, it's not going up anywhere, it's going down to burn, burn. Goodbye. So the last um, one is in the boil now, need to be turned over in a few minutes. And um, one here on the ground cooling off and one on an improvised board of bee boxes um, and putting patterns on for creating space for the bees to get in. And here is the finished product. Uh, three long ones, one short, um, and they're stacked back on the trolley. It's swarming time at the moment, so with a bit of luck, I might get one of these in place full of bees before nightfall. That, that is the finished one, and um, the rest is on the trolley there. Um, and lunch is served and I have here now gone down considerably and uh, that whole lot will now be put in and melted for next time uh, I cannot do that, it's too heavy so I will put them in and you can have a look afterwards the box is empty and all the candles, they sunk to the bottom. Big heap in the middle. It brought the level up again, and the cold candles stopped it boiling. So I'll have to, have to wait to get to the boiling again, and uh, the job is finished. So, now you've seen that. Bye for now.